What the club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Didn't have to class. Yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just didn't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Gather yourselves together. Come together with your people and learn the commandments of God. That's what you need to learn. Now, my brother said he is he said Muslim. What does Muslim have to do with our people? Ask do it a lot? Okay, explain. Okay, give me a little bit of this 26 and 1. So we're gonna deal with this real quick because Christianity says you were Christian, so-called Christian sister? My sister? Christianity? Okay, matter of fact, before you go there, give me Deuteronomy 8, 28 and 64. I'm going to show you that was a curse that would come upon the children of Israel. Christianity was introduced by the so-called white man. The same man that raped, robbed, and pillaged us, took our nationality away from us, that redlined us and put us in the hood, that put drugs and guns in our communities. When they came over and conquered us, they beat the hell out of us, changed our nationality, and gave us a false image of Christ. They gave us the cross and the Virgin Mary. That came from the so-called white man. The Arabs in 622 AD, they brought us into slavery known as the sub-Saharan slave trade. That was forced upon us. Islam is not a black man's religion. That's an Arab man's religion. Our religion is the commandments of God. That's what binds and constrains us as a people, that disciplines us as a nation. Read that, Deuteronomy 28 verse 64. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So my sister, the Bible says that we will be scattered amongst all people. Right? So we know that today is the transatlantic slave trade of 1619. The sub-Saharan slave trade. We were scattered amongst all people, read. From the one end of the earth, even to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. You shall serve what? Other gods. The Lord prophesied that we will serve other gods, meaning gods outside of him, read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Listen it, bro. It said that thou nor thy fathers have known, read. Even wood and stone. Even what? Wood and stone. So my sister, what you think that wood is? Bring it out. Bring it out. What you think that wood is? You can't tell my brother. What you think that wood is that we will serve? He said we will serve other gods, even wood. What's that wood? Nope. What you think, bro? What's that wood? The cross. The crucifix, the, the cross, that's what that's going into. Because before it became gold and silver and platinum, it was a wooden cross. He said we would serve other gods, even wood and what? Stone, wood and stone. What you think that stone is, bro? Okay, read it again. From the top, sir? From the bottom. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. In which neither the, nor the fathers have known even wood and stone. So we've established that the wood is the so-called Christian cross. What's the stone that we will serve? You said the Muslim statue? Okay, statues. Nope, not statues. What you think? The stone in Mecca. The stone in Mecca. Those are the two biggest religions that the Israelites worship today. Christianity and Islam. Islam has nothing to do with our people, my brother. Right. That is a right. foolish religion and doctrines of devils. Right. Leviticus 26 and 1. That's not of God. That is not of God. When we were taken into slavery, that religion was forced on us. The same way Christianity was. And it was put upon our people to lead us further away from God. Leviticus 26 and 1. Read. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1. You shall, you shall make you no idols nor a graven image. Neither will you off a standing image. Neither shall you set up any image of stone. God said not to set up any image of what? 
stone, any image of stone, wait, in your land. God said not to set up any image of stone. So the Bible does not advocate Islam. It disregards it. God does not advocate Islam. It's not of God. That's another God, my brother. That is not the black man's religion. What you were supposed to, give me Surah 17 and 11. I'm going to show you your heritage. Your heritage is what God told you to return on to. Surah 17 and 11. You understand that so far, bro? G give me that. All right, my brother. Ecclesiastes chapter 17, verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an inheritance. God said he gave you the law of life for an heritage. What does a heritage consist of? Dietary laws, moral laws, civil laws, ceremonial laws. That's the heritage that we were taking away from, my brother. If you go over to Arabia right now, the Arabs will beat the hell out of you. They will curse you out and call you a bib. What is, is, that, is that the word? A bib meaning slave. That's what they'll call you. They don't look at us as their people. They don't care about us, bro. That's right. The Arabs don't care about us, my brother. That is not your religion. Your heritage is the commandments of God. Right. Do you understand that? Do you got questions for me? You want to learn more about this? All praise to the Most High God. You got a flyer in your pocket? You got a flyer. Okay, pull the flyer out. If you look on the back of that flyer, we have our contact information. You see it, right? At the bottom of that flyer, the contact information, you see the address to the school, and you see the phone number, right? So I'm going to ask you this question, bro. Are you a so-called Muslim? Or learning what you learned from the Bible. Are you a Muslim? No, you're not. All praise to the Most High God. What are, what are you according to the Bible? You are an Israelite. All praise to the Most High God. That's what you are. You are not Muslim. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Give me Acts 3 and 19. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Because now we're going to go into repentance. Because we showed you the Sabbath thing. The Sabbath day is on which, on what day? On Saturday. Yes. My brother, what's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? What's your name? D. D? Where you see yourself on the sign, D? American black. Now, your hoodie is black. Is the pigmentation of your skin the same color as your hoodie? No, you're not a black man. That's a color in a crayon box. That's it. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. That's what God is requiring of us now, my brother. He said, repent ye therefore or change and be converted. Keep the commandments of God. So you learned about the Sabbath day. You must keep the Lord's Sabbath day. You denounce the Muslim faith. All praise to the Most High God. You are not Muslim. All praise to the Lord. You denounce that. Now, you get with a congregation. You congregate. You get built up as a man of God. A mighty man of the Lord. Learn the commandments of God and come out here and teach your people. You understand? D, where you going, bro? D. What's going on, bro? You got to be somewhere? Read the fly, bro. Learn who you are according to the Bible, all right? You understand that, bro? All right? Read. That your sins may be blotted out. So he said, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. That's what we want. We want a clean slate from the Lord because we've done a lot of wickedness against God. So he said, learn my commandments, repent, change your mind that your sins may be blotted out. 1 Samuel 10 and 6. 1 Samuel chapter 10 and verse 6. So this is what must take place, my brother. 1 Samuel chapter 10 and verse 6. Read that. 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 6 read. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee The Lord said the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you Read And thou shalt prophesy with them And you will prophesy with us brother That's the next step You come into the school getting built up And prophesying with your brothers To cast down this kingdom To cast down all imaginations And everything that exalts itself against the word of God Read again and the Spirit of the Lord shall come upon thee, Great. and thou shalt prophesy with them, Great. and shall be turned into another man. God said he wants you to be turned into another man, right. to be turned into a prophet of God, a man of God, what he ordained and called you from the beginning. Right. Jeremiah 1 and 5. Right. That's what you are, my brother. You are a prophet of God. Yes. You are a prophet of God, a mighty man of God in the Spirit. Read that, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. God said before he put you in your mother's womb, he knew you. He knew the spirit that he sent back on this earth. Read. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. God said he sanctified or set you apart. Read. And I adore thee a prophet. God said he ordains you a prophet. Read. Unto the nation. A prophet prophesies on what's to come, my brother. Like I mentioned before, what's going on in Gaza and Israel? Prophets prophesy on what's to come. The Bible prophesied that that was going to happen in the earth. 
The Bible prophesied the nation of Israel would go into slavery on cargo slave ships. The Bible prophesied that the men of God would be back in the last days. Teaching this Bible. Read it again at the bottom. And I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. That's it on that? Yes, sir. So God said he ordained us to be a prophet unto the nations. Give me 1 Kings 2 and 2. Now, my brother, do you know what it means to be a man? You don't know what it means to be a man, right? 1 Kings 2 and 2. Because the definition of a man today is your body count, how many different women you could deal with, right? Your income, you're making six figures. But the definition of being a man according to God is completely different and in opposition to what this world says. Give me that, 1 Kings 2 and 2. First Kings chapter 2, verse 2. I go the way all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. You got to show yourself a man, my brother. You got to stand up as a prophet. Show yourself a man of God. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. You got to keep the charge of the Lord. Yes, sir. Read. To walk in his ways. Uh -huh. To keep his statutes and his commandments. So my brother, how do you be a man according to the Bible? All right, read it again. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his commandments. How do you be a man according to the Bible? Yes, walk in his ways and keep his commandments. That's how you show yourself a man of God. A godly man, an Israelite according to the Bible. Read. And his statutes and judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses. That thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. And that's how we prosper as a nation, my brother. So as we build ourselves up, we return back to our heritage of who we are according to the Bible. We keep God's laws. We show ourselves an example to our families, to our friends, to this world. So when brothers and sisters see you, they're not going to see the old man that followed the Muslim faith. They're going to see a man of God that denounced that and came back to his heritage as an Israelite. That changed the way he talked, the way he walked, the way he eats, the holidays that he observes. Everything about you must change, my brother. You must be turned into another man. You understand that, my brother? Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 